Uh, okay, uh, distinguished scholars, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are very much honored and pleased to have you uh, in the Ethiopian Biodiversity Institute for this uh, very important capacity development initiative. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to thank uh, uh, the professors and other colleagues involved in this and also for the interest they showed to work with us to come to Ethiopia and build capacity of our national uh, uh, researchers. Uh, I have to repeat that it is a privilege for us and we are very much grateful for your uh, hard work. And again, welcome to Ethiopia, land of diversity. And also welcome to the Ethiopian Biodiversity Institute, an institute that has been giving service in biodiversity conservation in the US for the last 40 years. Because as of coming May, we are turning 40, 40. So uh, uh, this is this is also a very very uh, impressive and uh, uh, for us one of the the challenges because what have you, what have the institute and the nation has achieved over the the forty years and where are we aiming uh, at and where one, where do we want to reach. As can be seen from this uh, slide, we are aiming to be center of excellence in biodiversity conservation and the research in Africa. This is not simply a collection of words or ambitions we wanted to quote uh, or to coin. Rather, we have been in the business and we have been in the forefront for for the last 40 years and just to give you uh, uh, a, sh a very short overview the Ethiopian Biodiversity Institute the Zen Plant Genetic Resource Conservation Center has been giving giving training for African gene bank managers so we have been in the business and we want to achieve that one and we shall do that but let me take you back again to the history uh, Ethiopia w was identified as one of the eight Vavlovian center of origin because uh, those of you who are here today are more interested in the scientific uh, aspect. The first publication uh, declaring this to the world community uh, came out in 1969 in uh, Economic Bot Botany, uh, volume 23 that Ethiopia is center of diversity. Since then, then uh, there was high attention to the country and its genetic resources. And, and as you can see, uh, uh, Nikolai Vavlov and Harlan has uh, uh, contributed to that and, and indicated to, for which species and uh, to what extent the country has been center of diversity and origin for genetic resources. And again, when we come back to our policy directives, our constitution clearly indicates natural resources shall be used for the benefit of the people. It's not only a matter of conservation, it's a matter of maximize, maximizing utilization of our resources. To do that then, we need technical capacity to ensure that one. And uh, that should come again through uh, research, particularly through bioprospecting and the promotion of utilization. And again, generate, generating standard data that can influence decision-making process in the, in the country, in the region. And again, for the scholars from outside, Ethiopia has been and is still the leading country as far as biodiversity conservation and the policy development at Global Forum is concerned. And, and uh, our regional contribution is also very, very important and significant. Again, uh, uh, I don't want to talk about CBD, but this is one of the um, overarching framework under which we have been working the conservation of genes, species, and their associated ecosystems. And just to remind everybody here, this was the first binding international agreement, and so uh, those except USA, m most countries 
party to the CBD has international obligation to, to implement the three objectives of con conservation, which again, the US is also uh, uh, delivering on, as far as conservation use and promotion of uh, fair and sustainable utilization, uh, fair and uh, equitable beneficiary is concerned, but uh, as I said, it's not party to that. Again, the other in, uh, international treaty on plant genetics for food and agriculture, where US is, USA is a um, uh, party, and the international uh, intergovernmental platform for biodiversity and ecosystem services. So what I'm trying to tell you is we are operating under this international uh, legal provisions and uh, agreements and conventions. And so you can, you can see how demanding our responsibility and national commitment has been over the years. Where are we, our focus areas? The first one is assessment. I'm, I'm trying to link this with, with the training because we need capacity to do survey and exploration of our genetic resources. Not only for plants, but also for animals, for microbial genetic resources. So that is one of our areas of focus. And then uh, characterization is another part and monitoring change over time and also uh, uh, determining conservation status of genetic resources and promoting sustainable use of these resources is another area we want to build our capacity. Impact assessments, we are a developing nation to, so uh, with the ambitious targets our government has put in place and again, uh, with the need to conserve our natural resources, there must be a balance. The balance could be uh, met when all decision makers and technical expertise are understanding each other and supporting it, each other. So we want to be uh, supportive to uh, that decision making process so that our vision to be center of excellence in biodiversity conservation is and the use could be met. The other one is X2 conservation. Don't worry, we have standby generator. So let me continue. The other one is on uh, X2 conservation. Uh, this needs technology, this needs capacity development in, in managing gym banks and also and also uh, uh, facilitate uh, the utilization of these resources. So for, for that, again, we need uh, uh, capacity development and we have, we have some capacity, but again, uh, that's where we want to, to, to learn more and build our national capacity. Characterization is our key ca gap and also bioprospecting and identification of active ingredients in uh, our genetic materials and also uh, managing large data and digital data and also uh, making them available for different users in different uh, areas. The most important component is the in-situ conservation. So for conserving our materials in-situ again, there is a need to, to have a holistic understanding of not only the genetic materials being conserved in ecosystems, but also uh, the ecosystem services and functions. And th that is, again, where we need further capacity. And the research is, of course, our critical uh, area of focus. And we want to, to build our capacity in that. The other one, restoration. Not only ecosystem restoration, but also restoration of species and, and, and uh, uh, ecosystem services. This is also uh, where we want some um, focus activities and to do that again we need uh, human capacity to who can or um, that, that can, can deliver on those. Biodiversity enrichment is another area. ABS is of course our, our another major pillar. And those are uh, the areas where we, we, we are uh, working hard and we want to, to uh, collaborate with different stakeholders. As, as, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning, the Institute is a focal institute for 
the implementation of Convention on Biological Diversity, the implementation of the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture, and the implementation of provisions in intergovernmental platform for biodiversity and ecosystem services. This is a unique kind of arrangement because no country in the world has such arrangement. Because if you take uh, many countries, they are as a party to C and sorry, uh, institutions, they are national focal points for CBD, but not for others. So we have unique opportunity uh, to, to, to collaborate institutions and also interested researchers uh, working in either ABA or IPBS or International uh, Plant Genetic Resource uh, for Food and Agriculture or CBD. Th that gives us a, a unique opportunity for, for money. Our arrangements, we have five uh, core processes or directorates and five supports. But for you, for our um, this training, we have crop and horticulture uh, biodiversity directorate, or uh, as has been written, and I have to uh, respect uh, th that one field and horticultural crops and uh, forest and rangeland biodiversity and animal biodiversity and microbial uh, biodiversity, and then the access and the benefit sharing. So. Um, as far as biodiversity is concerned, and as far as any research in ecosystems, be it a drop of water or, or a large mountainous ecosystem is concerned, we, we do perfectly fit to any, any, any uh, possible research and also possible need for collaboration. So we, have, we are not only saying we need that and this, we have a lot to offer. And we are looking forward for mutual benefit because we are, we are, we are, uh, we have been uh, in the business for for so many years, and also we have been uh, participating in different international uh, meetings, dialogues, and so on. And then the analysis we came up at the end is a lot is within. A, our institute within our country and our country has a lot to offer as far as uh, that that is on on mutual understanding and uh, on on benefiting each other research questions hosting researchers project development and implement implementation so we are work we are looking for uh, mutual collaboration both in research and capacity development and i hope this training does perfectly fit to this and we do look forward for more practical, fruitful collaboration with uh, any, any um, uh, researcher or, or institutions, uh, nationally, internationally, regionally. And once again, I would like to thank uh, distinguished scholars who came such a long dist uh, distance from, from I, I'm, I'm informed most of you from the USA. So, uh, for, for this training and also we look forward for strong and sustainable collaborate, collaboration between uh, us and thank you very much.